up? Welcome back. Molly the Box Auditor. Doing a little special kind of movie review slash unpackaging of an autograph that I have. And as you notice, I've got some alien figures. Um, Xenomorph from Alien. Uh, so, we'll do the, un the unpackaging first. And then we'll go through um, a review on the movie uh, Alien. The first one. 1979. So I figured I'd make this a special review being that today is Sigourney Weaver's birthday. She is 69 years old. Her birthday is October 8th. Um, so happy birthday to Sigourney Weaver. So real quick, let me uh, open, let me unpack unpackage uh, this autograph. This autograph I got off eBay. Um, it was cheap. I think I got it from uh, uh, Probstein 123 uh, consignments or autographs or something. I don't remember. But it is certified. It's not a fault. And let's get open. Get open. Let's get into this. Uh, here we go. All right. Uh, that's where you can find. Uh, that's where you can find them. I, I don't know if I've ever gotten any autographs from, uh, let me take it out of here. And it is PSA. Give me one second, let me get it out of here. Alright. Okay, so this here is the late, let me see if I can get to the glare. This is Harry Dean Stanton. He died September 2017. He played Brett. He was one of the miners from the movie Alien. Um, this scene here, he finds the skin of the alien. I, I want to say uh, he's trying to find a cat and he stumbles across this. Um, but I wanted to add this to my piece because uh, and all, it was dirt cheap and, and um, it's a pretty cool item. I mean, he's he's gone and he passed away. I think he was 93 when he passed away. Um, but that's a pretty cool item. Got it off of eBay. Nothing crazy. It is PSA DN, DNA certified. And that is Harry Dean Stanton. favorite movies uh, 1979 Alien it was directed by Ridley Scott this movie paved the way for sci-fi horror it took this concept of a slasher movie and set it in a place uh, with literally no escape um, Ridley Scott did something um, no other no other one has ever done or ever done successfully done before is took the monster movie into deep space um, using the standard structure uh, of one location, one location story, and turning it into something, um, something else entirely. Uh, basically, it's the crew of miners traveling through uh, space, get a distress call, and diverts them uh, off course to go check it out. They stumble, they stumble across a enormous, uh, desiccated, like alien corpse, and like this, like. I don't know, it's it's weird to explain, but it's like a big old telescope and it was surrounded by a bunch of uh, a bunch of eggs and then one of the miners um, come face to face with it and it gets gets on his it gets on his helmet, it gets through the helmet, and then that's when really the horror, all the horror really begins. Um, at the time now now we call them face huggers, there's a face hugger attached to him. They bring it on the ship, he's impregnated. Uh, the alien impregnates its host, um, and hours later the alien bursts out of its chest, runs away, and then grows like a hundred times uh, its size. Uh, the alien then hunts down each crew member uh, as a part of its own evolutionary reason to exist, 
then with the asshole android Ash, which that makes it even worse, um, discovers he's trying to take the specimen back and study it because he's kind of like programmed to do that. Uh, that heightens the terror of the whole movie because he's an asshole. And the hero is played by Sigourney Weaver, which is her birthday. Happy birthday, Sigourney Weaver. Tom Skerritt is Dallas. He plays like the captain. Um, and then, you know, you got you got Stanton that plays one of the, I think he was the mechanic. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember all this. Um, Alien, the first Alien, basically, like I said before, it paved the way for um, everything else where people try to put monsters in space. Um, the Xenomorph, uh, being in 1979, this design is like no other. Uh, it's very iconic. It's a very iconic creature. Um, you know, since since the other movies has come out, they've it's evolved. Um, I, I stick to the originals, Aliens, Alien and Aliens, which is one and two. Um, I try to stick with that. Uh, Aliens three was just a big disappointment. Um, them killing off. Newt and Corporal Hicks in the beginning of the movie just set the tone for me, really. Um, I think had they kept him alive and went with Ripley uh, on the adventure of the prison that she crashes onto, um, I think that would have really put a different motive or a different kind of uh, uh, take on the movie, but instead it was like, you know, it's Corny Weaver. And that's another thing. Uh, I think 93 is when it came out. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's another thing is uh, Sigourney Reaver turned, I don't want to say liberal, but she's a gun activist. Um, they had to like pretty much re-ramp the movie because she didn't want anything to do with guns. If you notice in that movie, she doesn't tote a gun at all. She was really anti-gun then. Uh, so I don't I don't know. Maybe that kind of changed the, the antique of the movie, which sucks because um, I felt like Alien 3 should have been the story that told them all, you know. You had the first one, the alien, that kind of introduced the alien into the into the movie. And then Aliens 2, that's where the Marines, Ripley, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're kicking ass, they're going in. And then Aliens 3, I think, should have set the tone for, alright, we know there's aliens, they've wiped out a whole uh, squad of, or a platoon of ma uh, Marines. Ripley's already blown up two freaking huge ships in the Stromo and um, has already faced court, you know. So the third one could have been something <clears throat> like, hey, you know, Ripley's onto something. She's blown up two things already. Is she crazy? Is she, is she psychotic? Or is there really something out there? And then it would have been backed up by the Marines, uh, their whole platoon being destroyed. Um, then Corporal, Corporal Hicks, Newt, could have been her alibis. I think, I think they... they they really screwed up Aliens 3. Um, but that's all I got for tonight. I just wanted to do a little quick, um, little quick unpackaging on my autograph and, um, you know, do a little movie review. Nothing crazy. But Alien, Alien to me gets, gets a, a, a 10 out of 10 on 1 through 10 scale. Um, I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. Aliens 2, I love it even more. Uh, then Aliens 3 killed it. Aliens 3 killed the whole series. It paved the way for the rest of the series. From Resurrection to to the, the what is it? Revolution, Genesis, or whatever. Um, just garbage after all. After, after the 1 and 2. So, and Les, thanks. I guess you want to thank, you know, Scorny Weaver for kind of ruining that. I don't know. Maybe not. That's all I have. I'm on the box auditor. Thank you for tuning in. This little short uh, 
unpackaging review. Um, if you like kind of these, if you like these reviews and want to see them more from my channel, uh, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, but leave a comment. I can start uh, getting really in tune with these movie reviews and maybe make something out of it, something enjoyable that y'all like doing. Um, who knows? But that's all I have. I'm always a box harder. Until next time.